Hello and welcome to another episode of the Deep Dive series where we'll be answering all your questions and any kind of concerns you might have about academics life here at Purdue University. And for today's video is about something that a lot of parents and families and students um, have been asking us and that is if I'm currently a high school student wanting to go into engineering, how do I best prepare myself for the transition into college? So let's dive right in. So first off, I'm going to offer my perspective because I've been there. I was a high school student once. Um, I was interested in engineering and I knew that it was something I wanted to pursue. So here are just some of my tips that hopefully will help you guys. So I was in robotics my high school year. However, I gravitated much more toward the creative side, the, the design process rather than the coding and more technical side of engineering. Of course, I took AP Physics and AP Calc. Um, they were interesting to me, but at the end of the day, I felt like I was more interested in pursuing something more creative and not just analytical. In fact, during the summer before college, I was switching back and forth a lot between industrial design and engineering. Do I wanna stay with engineering and try it out or do I wanna switch into industrial design, which is more similar to product design. But in the end, I decided to stick with engineering just to try it out, see how it goes. In fact, because I decided to stick with engineering, during my first semester here at Purdue University, I discovered a new major called visual design engineering. It is a major within the school of multi disciplinary engineering and it is the perfect major for me because it's the balance between art and engineering um, it was just something that calls me I feel like this is something I would be very interested in pursuing and therefore the best advice I can possibly give to high school students interested in pursuing engineering is not about what classes you've got to take because obviously if you're interested in engineering you've probably already taken some sort of STEM classes and you are um, somewhat passionate about it. The best advice is to do more research about the major you are gravitating toward. Maybe you're like completely sure that mechanical or aerospace engineering is the one you want to go into, or maybe you're kind of like on the fence and not too sure if it's something you want to pursue for four years and that's something you want to do for the rest of your life. Just do more research. Look at the major at your school, how well they teach it and how well they prepare you for the future. But at the same time, don't limit yourself within a major because at the end of the day, you might be surprised to find out that there's actually a better major that fit your interests, like I did when I found out about visual design engineering. So yeah, just look into stuff, um, do more research about the majors you wanna go into, what you wanna study in college, and the sooner you do it, the more prepared you will be for college and especially at Purdue University. And moving on, we're gonna have some advice from um, some staff and professors here at Purdue University and obviously they can give a better insights than I do or from a different perspective. So here we go. Hi, I'm uh, Professor William Oakes, uh, a faculty member, a professor in engineering education. I've been working with first year students at Purdue now for 23 years. I also direct uh, EPICS program, which is a program where we engage students in doing real design work for community organizations here in the local community and, and actually globally. Uh, I was asked to address a question of what students could do to prepare while they're in high school for a, an engineering program like ours, which was a great question and got me thinking. Um, there, there are a lot of different things. And I wanna say, you know, each person's pathway here is a little different. So uh, my first piece of advice is to get advice from different people. Uh, be, because there are different people that, that um, are doing different things in engineering and, and actually use different paths to get here. But some of the key things I think, from my perspective, of one of them is look to make sure that you're, you're taking and understanding your math. Um, uh, engineering programs want you ready for calculus. If you could take calculus in high school, that would be great but you want to make sure that you get through that pre-calculus so that you're ready to calculus. And I say take it, but actually make sure that you're learning it. So if you're, if you're getting ready, make sure you're doing enough things so you're learning, not just trying to get the grade on the test like I did when I was your age, if you're looking at this, um, but you want to make sure that, that you're learning it. Doesn't mean you have to love the math. When I think about it, um, I love being able to use the math tools. I don't, I've never really loved a math class just, I never, when I was a student, ever canceled a date to go do more math homeworks. You know, I mean, there, there are other things like that, but it's like a tool. So I think of like the math and your science courses are tools 
I love to build things, so I'll take my hammer out. I don't love the hammer, but I love what I can do with those. I mentioned science. You want to make sure you take chemistry, biology, physics. And if you can take some advanced science classes, those are great, and, and they're going to come up. If your school offers AP classes, those can be great. But it's really important for us is that you get that those core classes, so a, a class in biology uh, and physics. Also look for classes that force you to do homework each day. Math is great at that because in most math classes you'll have homework, but things like a language, a foreign language. Engineers work in, in a global environment today, so a language can be helpful, but a language is another class where you have to do homework every day. So you wanna develop that habit. I believe one of the most important skills for university students in engineering is time management. So the ability to set a schedule, your parents actually might appreciate this to say, here's what I'm doing homework. Hey, here's stuff I can do around the house just so I'm ready to do that. So if the parents are, are watching this, you can replay that part that I said, make a schedule so that they do, you do your homework. Um, See if you can get involved in things that engineers might do. You know, a lot of places might have a robotics competition. For some students, they like those things. I was never in those. Um, but there are other things too, even like volunteering. So what I do in our EPICS program is we engage with nonprofit organizations. So you could look for like a Habitat for Humanity organization. You could volunteer, but you could also work with them to say, you know, there's things that we can do with the systems. You know, could I help organize things? Uh, industrial engineers look at efficiency and processes. If you're tech savvy um, or, or interested in computers, maybe some nonprofits, you could help with some of the computer work. Uh, you start to get a glimpse of what engineering is because engineering is really working with people and technology and processes and, symptom, and systems. Uh, so, so doing things and, and it, it's also a way to get experience and, and learn about how we can make an impact, which is a huge part of engineering. If you have access to friends, relatives, if your teachers know of, of people who might be engineers, uh, those are a great uh, resource. Again, you want to talk to different, don't go talk to one person. Some of our students will say, why, I ask them why they're in engineering. They're like, oh, my physics teacher said that would be good. That's great. But it would be great to, to get more information. If you don't have access to people, a lot of universities have websites that you can look at things. Uh, don't be afraid to, to email. There are organizations like the American Society for Engineering Education, NSBE, the National Society of Black Engineers, um, that, that have websites that have examples of what you would do. So just start to explore. Now here at Purdue, we don't require you to know what kind of engineer you wanna be in. That's the reason we have a, a first year program to explore, but it starts to give you some ideas. The other thing to think about are summer experiences. A lot of universities will have some of, and colleges will have summer programs. Uh, some of them have when they're younger, the most common is between the junior and senior year. That's part of their recruiting. And I would look, not worry if the program is at the school you wanna to go to, you wanna go and learn about engineering. There are a lot of programs that have scholarships and things like that. Uh, I did one at the US Naval Academy. I learned that I really wanted to be an engineer and I did not wanna to go to a service academy. It was a great experience. But that was an opportunity for me to actually explore what, what this was. So those are, are some of the things. If you got other questions, feel free to reach, us, uh, reach out to us here at Purdue. As someone who does uh, research and outreach uh, to introduce young students to engineering, I really like this question. I'm glad to be able to help answer it. Um, so in terms of what you should do in high school uh, to prepare yourself for engineering in college, uh, one, um, you can think about the coursework and certainly you're gonna have some math and science courses uh, that you'll have to take in engineering. Um, so you wanna make sure you're, you're prepared there and you can look at uh, the universities. Uh, courses, um, what expectations there are, make sure you have those prerequisites um, that you're taking in high school. But I think more importantly, beyond that, um, you want to make sure that you are uh, motivated to pursue engineering and that this is something you want to do. Too often, I feel like students come in thinking they just want to get a good job and make money. Um, and that might not uh, really motivate you through uh, coursework that sometimes it doesn't seem quite connected to what you want to do in the end. Um, and so I think it's important to start to learn more about what engineering is and what engineers do and how you see yourself becoming an engineer. And so there are multiple ways of doing that, whether you're uh, 
uh, joining after school clubs that are related to engineering, like First Robotics or Lego, First Lego League. Um, we're doing summer camps. Uh, I offer uh, engineering summer camps here at Purdue. Other uh, places on campus do that as well. Other universities that are more local to you may do that uh, as well. And then um, looking for specific uh, engineering, whether it's jobs or uh, um, pursuits that you would want to follow, um, maybe look for a job as a high school student, an internship, maybe job shadow someone who works as an engineer so you get exposed to what that looks like. Um, you can also do, you know, your own personal research on the internet through YouTube or other Googling it. Um, but I recommend looking for things that you're passionate about within engineering, whether it's, you know, looking at engineering and music, uh, engineering and sports, engineering and video games. Um, what are the topical areas that you're interested in as a student and see how engineers work um, in that field or on that topic area. And hopefully that will in inspire you, motivate you to want to become an engineer and see how you can apply the engineering skills that you would develop here at Purdue um, into a career that's uh, exciting and, and interesting to you, as opposed to just sitting at a desk and plugging away uh, to make a dollar. Um, so again, look out there, see for those opportunities to expose yourself to what engineers do on a daily basis is, and what they can do. Um, so whether it's working on uh, roller coasters in Disneyland uh, or creating the next video game, see what it is you want to do, what solutions do you want to uh, create for the world around us, maybe you want to help people um, and provide solutions that make it more safe for people to um, see their loved ones during COVID pandemic times or um, help someone uh, who has a disability. So think about what it is you want to change in the world and how you might do that as an engineer. And hopefully that would motivate you to uh, complete the coursework that it requires here at Purdue or elsewhere. Thank you. And I think that is all we have for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it helpful, especially if you're currently a high school student looking into engineering for college. And if you enjoyed this video, um, stay tuned because we're gonna do a lot more videos in the future in the series, the deep dive series. So um, just keep an eye out for that. And I guess this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.